Restaurant chains are always coming and going, with some dominating a given area to being almost wiped off the map. Some exist by just a thread, while others' days are truly looking like they're numbered. These are the endangered and near-extinct restaurant chains of America, part three. So we're gonna start off with the endangered category, and this first one is probably the biggest and most significant decline of a fast food restaurant probably ever, and that would be Quiznos Subs. This chain had around 5,000 locations at its peak in 2006. Today it has just around 400 and only 150 in the United States, meaning there are just around 8% of its former peak remaining. So Quiznos began in the 1980s, but it wasn't really relevant until the 1990s after it went public. And from the 1990s and forward, they just kind of handed out franchises like candy. You know, they would go from just 18 in the early 90s to around 5,000 by 2006. And basically the company made all of its money by selling supplies to franchisees. And the pricing of such supplies was not really in the interest of franchisees to make a profit. Also, the company in some cases would compete with itself by having franchisees be very close to each other. Really in the end, with the ignorance for the franchisees and also the growth of sub shop competitors over time, such as Jimmy John's, the company really got squeezed and is just a very small shell of what it once was. And personally, I just don't think it even comes close in terms of quality compared to other sub shops of today. You have chains such as Jersey Mike's grilling subs and cutting meat right in front of you, and a place like Quiznos just can't compete with that. So really in the long run, this will probably just continue to get smaller as a chain. Now next we have Shakey's Pizza. Now for this I'm gonna focus on the US version because internationally, this company is pretty relevant. At its US peak in 1968, it had 342 locations. Today it has just 47, good for only 13.7% of its former peak in the United States. It would be the first adopter of US pizza franchising beginning in the 1950s. Now Shakey's would capitalize more on the eat-in pizza model, having things like arcades, with the focus being more family-oriented, but not too long after Shakey's began, so would other chains such as Pizza Hut and Domino's. Chains like these would dominate the franchise model, and their expansions, along with other chains that would come later on, such as Papa John's, would really begin to flush a chain like Shakey's out of the market. And ultimately, this chain and its model could not compete. Today, it's pretty much just become a regional chain with all locations either in California or Washington in the US. It does, however, have many locations internationally, particularly in the Philippines. Next, we have Sizzler. This steakhouse chain began in 1958, and at its peak, it had 270 locations in the US. Today, it has just 77, good for just 28.5% of its former peak. Its focus was on giving a value-oriented, chain restaurant-style steakhouse experience, and this would work out well for them for much of the company's early history. However, by the 1980s, it would have major competition come into play, with the creation of steakhouse chains Longhorn Steakhouse and Outback Steakhouse. Sizzler then in the 1990s tried to become a buffet style restaurant, despite their locations not being built to accommodate this, nor that being what got Sizzler to prominence in the first place. In the late 90s, many Sizzlers closed and there was a bankruptcy. Basically, in trying something different than what was already proven, combined with the emergence of two superior steakhouse chains that did what Sizzler used to do even better, even if at a slightly higher cost, you now have a chain that is relegated to the Western United States and Puerto Rico, and probably really will just fade into memory as the years go on. As in just the last six years, the company's locations have nearly halved. They do still exist internationally, though that is a separately owned company from the original US version. And next we have the near extinct category, and here we have a chain that is down to just four locations. Established in 1950, Tasty Freeze was an ice cream and fast food chain that once had around 1,800 locations. Today, it has just 0.2% of its former peak remaining. This company would grow very quickly with its soft serve machines being franchised to hundreds upon hundreds of franchisees who would use the name Tasty Freeze. The demand for this was so high 
that the chain would go from zero to around 1,800 locations in just seven years. However, just six years later, after a costly attempt at expanding the concept to ice cream trucks, the company would file for bankruptcy and locations would start to vanish. The decline was so severe that only 340 remained by the early 1990s. Today, four remain, randomly spread out throughout the country. Much like Sizzler, trying to be what they weren't would ultimately be much of the company's undoing. By the time they went bankrupt, chains such as Dairy Queen and McDonald's had a strong foothold in frozen desserts that continues through today, which would essentially give Tasty Freeze no chance. So there are the four. Do you think these chains will exist into the far future, or do you think they will be gone soon? Let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.